welcome back to Bowman's Home Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you how to do a stuffed chicken breast with pork and apricots and uh, wrapped in bacon with carrot puree and mashed potatoes. So you want to stick around for that? That'll be pretty awesome. Uh, don't forget to give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe. So the first step, you definitely want to heat up your pan. That's what I'm doing now, heating up the pan. And then I'm going to toss that oil in there, heat that up, and then uh, we can start our pork. Sauteing the pork up. Pork is almost uh, nicely uh, cooked there, so we're just going to just about there's still a bit of pink in there so you want to make sure you cook it. especially ground pork you want to make sure you cook it cook it right it's very important garlic in there yeah about a teaspoon or so should be good chopped garlic finely chopped actually a good time to add herbs yeah i got some dry herbs in here some uh yeah, rosemary, sage, thyme, and some uh, mostly parsley. So there we go. Some of that in there. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh, nice. Perfect. Yeah, it's gonna be fun to stuff a, a pork. Well, stuffing pork with pork. <laughs> with a chicken breast wrapped in bacon. So it'll be fun. Well, there is a chicken breast there, and uh, a fair bit of pork because we're doing the wrapped in bacon with the. Uh, stuffing so there we go so the next step you want to take this pork because we're going to stuff it and uh it's a little hard to stuff when it's hot so you want to uh, i mean i'm just going to toss it in the ice box to uh the freezer there just to uh, soften or to get it cooled down always changing mind when cooking it's nuts but oh well and we're gonna do the stuffing this way Right, uh, seasoning. So, a little bit of uh, garlic powder. Toss that in there. Toss our uh, mushrooms in there. Sliced mushrooms. Chicken stock. I think it's chicken stock. It could be turkey stock, but I think it's chicken stock. You can use uh, either or, because uh, I did, during the holidays, I made the uh, turkey stock, so all good. Dried apricots. Yeah, some chunks of dried apricots. Just kind of a rustic, kind of rough chop is fine. Mm, smells good. Cool. And this is going to be our stuffing, right? Uh, seasoning. So we got garlic powder, got some onion powder. Got some of that in there. A little bit of uh, a little bit of fennel helps a uh, little bit of flavoring. So. Always goes good with pork and apricots. And we got Italian seasoning. Put some of that in there. Sorry, thyme. Mix it up. And this will be our stuffing for to stuff the chicken with. And I'm uh, definitely gonna cool it down. So dump it in the fridge for a bit, cool it down. That was one egg. Uh, beaten up a little bit. Mix it all in just to just to have something to bind it together a little bit. Bread comes to help it out a bit. All right. Now it should all kind of bind together, so it's a little easier to stuff. Our lovely chicken wrapped in bacon, looking good. Always make sure before you handle this, the the stuffing, wash your hands. Get all in there and mix it all up. Oh yeah, this will be a nice stuffing. Mm -hmm. Probably give it a quick taste to make sure it's good. Thinking it is. Oh yeah, I have a sweetness in there, in the apricot. Mm -hmm. Wow, good. Mm -hmm. All right, so our chicken. It's gonna make a. Show you that. That's a little slit right down the, kind of like a butterfly, a little hole sort of. Just kind of. Oh, oops. So it kind of opens up. That one uh, was sort of okay. A little bit of a hole in it, but that'll be all right. Trying to make a, a nice pocket in there. And they did it again. <laughs> Professional. Oh no. All right. Hopefully I'll get this one right. 
Not to say I can't fix those, so that's uh, not to panic. All right, hopefully. Got this right. Oh yeah, that's a little better. Almost a whole, but not a little better than the last one. All right, all right, all right no problem. All right, try it again. Oh yeah, this this is like the best one. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I've done hundreds of stuff with breasts. I don't know why. Some these couple were like holes in them, but I can fix that. Some stuffing. Yeah, stuff it right in there. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Get that stuffing all in there. Yeah. Like so. Up, oh, all right, and uh, might have to tie them. I haven't quite decided yet, so I'll we'll see. <laughs> As I said, you got to be pretty flexible in the kitchen, so you kind of have an idea and you just sort of go with it and see how it works. Okay, in the end, if it tastes good, you've really, you really won, right? stuffing in there okay because the bacon's gonna hold all that that lovely stuffing in there so that's uh it's no problem so even if you get a little hole in there like i did it's okay mm -hmm. all right now for our bacon and just so you know I've never actually made a stuffed wrapped uh, chicken breast ever, so this is a kind of a venture for me as well as it is for you. Now we're gonna roll the bacon around the chicken there. Let's roll it around like so, just like that. Yeah, I'm thinking two, two per, two per. All right. Let's grab another little piece and let's kind of. Wrap her around, like so. Wow, that even looks really good. Cool. And that's, yeah, I don't I don't think I have to tie these. No, I'm not gonna tie them. All right. Ooh, this is gonna be a <laughs> definitely a nice uh, nice meal. Mm -hmm. It's not definitely not diet food, but you know, who, who, who doesn't like bacon, right? Wrapped in the wrapped in chicken. Oh man, that's. Uh, I don't know why I've ever made this. Hmm. Cool. All right. Now, touch of olive oil for your pan. Toss a little bit in there. Now we're tossing in our to our pan. Can I see that? Just toss it in there. Mm hmm. All right. Into the oven. Yeah, I would say they'd probably take uh, uh, forty minutes. 45 minutes, check, and then I'll, uh, you know, toss them in the oven. Uh, Preheat the oven, uh, three, uh, yeah, three, let's say uh, 350. We're uh, just gonna toss them in the oven like so. Yeah, so into the oven, uh, 350 uh, for 40, uh, 45 minutes. And it's always important to add just a little bit of salt to the water for the potatoes. Very important. Mashed potatoes. So uh, we're just gonna cut them, cut them roughly in those type of pieces for our mashed potatoes, like so, approximately. For our mashed potatoes, the right serve. A few in there. Rice them up. It does make more smooth mashed potatoes if you rice them. Some salt. Pepper. You know what? You can do click mash. A little bit of garlic mash. How's that? A little bit of garlic, fresh garlic. And if you have heavy cream, you can use that as well. Toss some butter in there. Uh, my potatoes got a little bit cold, so uh, that's why I'm putting a little bit of melted butter in there. That'll work. 
Parmesan cheese. Mix. Get the taste. So for our carrots, a cup of water and a cup of chicken stock. I'll set in there. Play a cup. There are Kind of approximate measurements, but uh, fairly uh, roughly need about a cup, cup of each. And if you notice it's a little too much, you can just dump a little out. It's cool. Toss a little bit of butter with the uh, carrots there. They're almost before we toss them into the blender. To speed the carrots along, just toss a little in there. And then I'll get it go a little quicker. It's done. Into the blender. I'm thinking. I might need a bit more chicken stock. Not to worry, just keep out a touch of that. Put the garlic in there. Put your cream. Now it's too thick. That's okay. All the chicken stock. Mmm, smells good. Time for a taste. Mmm. That doesn't need a. Doesn't need anything. Perfect. Care puree. It's gonna check on our uh, famous uh, chicken in the oven. Bottom of the plate. Kind of a mushroom sauce. There's your bacon wraps, stuffed chicken breast with uh, with the with our pork and apricot, with the carrot puree and some mashed potatoes. And there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. That was pretty awesome. The stuffed uh, chicken breast wrapped in bacon. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to give the video a like. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Lots of other videos on my channel to check out. So please do. And we'll see you in the next, in the next video.